Breaking news at 11. Tonight, a Eugene man has a new RV thanks to a generous community member as his original one was lost to arson back in January. Thank you for joining us. I'm China Green. KEZI 9 News reporter Connor McCarthy is live here in the studio and shows us that the night wasn't about remembering what was lost, but a new RV and some new friends that were gained. Connor. Elliot Morgan lost a small business when a man set fire to his RV on January 7th. And Mar Morgan says he is grateful for the new office and those who like to pay it forward. I really am blown away. I still don't believe it. Elliot Morgan not only has a new RV, but a new office. Morgan operated a small excursion adventure business out of his RV. But it was all destroyed when an arson set fire to his RV back in January. We came from a place of, of giving up. And now we're going to be able to, uh, hopefully, we're, once we get all said and done, we're going to see if we can start it back up as uh, soon as possible. Daniel Isaacson heard of Morgan's story and saw this as an opportunity to help a fellow business owner. Something happened to me very similar when I was younger. I owned a small business and my business was destroyed by a vandal. And when I read Elliot's story, it was a pay it forward kind of deal. I, I had the benefit of having that happen to me and it's my job to pay it forward. But Isaacson wasn't the only one who wanted to donate. I thought, oh, I have some things that maybe I can add to what he needs. Beverly Farfan donated sleeping bags, poles and other camping gear that she got donated to her from REI. Well, I just feel good. You know, it's one of those things that what you give out, you get tenfold back by giving. Morgan says he is going to take every opportunity to give to someone in need. I mean, I'm going to try to pay it forward as much as possible. There's good here, yeah, and not be so, so down on the neighborhood. It's great. Morgan not only got a new V and new outdoor equipment, but a raffle helped raise him over $200 that he says will go to starting back up his business. Reporting live in the studio, Connor McCarthy, KZI 9 News. Connor, thank you.